Hey, this is JD79. Um, it's, you know, last full week of summer and I'm um, going out to um, uh, Douglas State Forest on um, three states here. This is, um, again here. It's a wonderful day. It's a pretty autumn-like day and um, this is um, the start of season five here on VGM.com. And yeah, I am um, talking about um, a lot of game reviews or like, you know, doing this and I'm sorry about that because there's been a lot of issues and uh, you know regarding um the last gen uh, last gen consoles what's been going on thus far here and uh yes um there's been some comments I posted on this channel and thank you Jack the Bomb for, put, for uh, putting this out here and um basically the last the last gen con the, this generation of consoles has been to me the worst and I think other people agree with me because and the, the reason why is because um greedy corporations and um uh publishers and whatnot here um yes I say to this and I'm going to have to tell you pointed out here here's a news flash um and yes I pointed out to Jack the Bomb um which is uh, John who runs Jack the Bomb here um He's a really nice guy. He's a really nice, um, he's as smart consumer as I am here. Yeah, so I admit I pay, um, um some gains over here. Uh, like, um, yeah, 60 bucks here. But, um, to me, yeah, really, um, I think they should be 40 bucks by now. I mean, it's five years into this generation, um, since, um, games come out they should be 40 bucks right now when it comes out and um and yes i noticed that uh, little big planet 2 is now 39.99 and uh yes it's a really really good game but um and the move pack came out um people were saying did i download the move pack absolutely i i uh downloaded the move pack as soon as it came out and um i'm gonna be having a um News flash from to you, Sony. I'm gonna add a, add a news flash. Um, the yellow light of death. Um, I talk about. I, I talk the latest um, estimates of Sony. Let's take about 50 million PS3 sold, and um, I'm gonna talk. And um, I'm gonna um, take about 10. And there's a, some statistics here that about 10 to 15 percent failure rate of on the PS3 through the yellow light of death. And there's a lot of people here. Do you know how much of the yellow light of death has, do you know how much consumers lost over that? Um, I'm saying at least a billion dollars. Um, take five million of these PS3s that have the yellow light of death, um, because of a 10% failure rate, and, um, and, I think it's, uh, and, um, I don't know, I think it's probably more than, uh, yeah, I'm talking about a billion dollars in damages because um, three or four or five times, like a two or three times on average, people got the yellow light of death a few times, and um, some people had to buy a slim, um, um, something like that. But if people's yellow light of death, um, they um, die at least one time here. Um, I'm talking at least a billion, or two, um, Maybe uh, three or four billion dollars because um, some people um, bought a PS3. Um, I think it's like PS3, and then they um, they got the light of death. They went through Sony, and they uh, charge about um, 150 bucks on average um, to fix it. Um, that's about 750 million dollars. Um, and the reason why I probably say about a one two billion dollars is because um, they happen at least a few times, and um, as a matter of fact, um, some some consumers lost about thousands of dollars um, because they sent their PS3s in um, for some patchwork that I'm going to um, add over here, and um, they got the system home. They got yellow light of death within about a few months later, and they did it again about two or three times. Finally, say I isn't the yellow. Um, um, Done up up here and um, wound up buying a new PS3 Slim. Um, did these PS3 Slims here? Um, this is what I'm talking about. And some people um, 
you know, just, um, it's sad. Sony, uh, I, um, uh, oh, we've lost five to ten million euros because of used copies. I mean, that just towards the fact that consumers have lost five to ten million, five to ten, uh, um, Oh, excuse me, um, one to two billion dollars because of, one to two billion dollars, we've lost that because of your business, um, fixing your flaw of your system that you should be, um, hey, listen to me, um, I had a PS2 that's lasting for, um, a couple, of us over here, and I, 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 I had a PS2 that, um, is about, um, seven or eight years old, that still works today. The Super Nintendo that's been sitting in 10 years in the closet collecting dirt and grime and dust, that still works today. And that thing's like 19 years old, and that's been heavy use and um, for the past this. I mean, to, and for Sony to give us an excuse to say, oh, it's so expensive, and we have to pass it on to the customers. Um, uh, Sony, you're I mean, um, it's your duty to make that system last in the first place. And uh, whether or not you um, have, uh, whether or not you have, um, make your system over here. Hey, looks, um, people, consumers spending 600 bucks in the system, and two and a half years later, that system died. And, as well, as, especially for those piece, people who have their other systems that have from launch day, the PS1s, the N64s. The Nintendo 64 I have, that's the same Nintendo 64 I had for 15 years. And that system still works. I mean, yeah, granted that, that that's, um, the Super Nintendo and the N64 has been in use over here. Uh, my PS1, um, that's, um, the one I have is 13 years old. That still works, and it has the moving parts in this one here. So don't tell me, Sony, um, you can't make a system that lasts for two or three years. I mean, it's ridiculous. And, um, that's just talking the tip of the iceberg, and, um, I'm talking about this. And yes, um, I'm gonna be talking personally with John and Jack the Bomb, and just wait until, uh, he and I just grill the hell out of these cuss out of these industries because they deserve to be grilled. I mean, um, this is, I mean, you know, this is a, um, situation right now where we're getting stooped down to, uh, these online past bullcrap. Yes, uh, by the way, I did, I did follow up on what I posted on, uh, I did follow up on, uh, my rage, um, Yes, they did cancel my pre-order because that online path for Rage is absolutely... How could um, you... There could be an online pass anyway if you're roping off something that's on the freaking disc. Um, I don't get it. Games should be... I mean... It's five years from now. Games should be 40 bucks from when you purchase it new in the first place. And... Um, you know, people want to say to me, oh, it's supposed to be 60 bucks or anything like that. I don't, no, it should be 40 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks for a new game right now. And, um, and then 20 bucks for a greatest hits or a player's choice or whatever it is, a Nintendo selects player's choice. Um, yeah, what it is right now, 20 bucks when it comes out, uh, 20 bucks after a year when it uh, comes out. And the PlayStation 3s, they should be less than 249 right now. I think a $50 price drop, um, I don't think it's enough. They should be 200 bucks at the most um, for a 250 gigabyte PS3. Um, that's what they should be aiming, aiming for. Um, PS3 should be 200 bucks right now. And um, who knows, how much will games cost in the PS4 at this point? I'm guessing a hundred bucks right now. Um, sure enough, I mean it's going to be. Um, it's artificially high right now, even though it's. Um, there, I mean, there's like no stunts where people risk their lives on their stunt uh, for accidents to create a movie. Yet it's costing twenty bucks right now. Yeah, well, yeah, you know that movies are to me um, just sitting on the couch watching the action from the sidelines. I mean, I play games more right now um, because I'm in the action and that's why um, I play games a lot today. Um, seriously, games should be 40 bucks right now. 
40 bucks new, um, 20 bucks for a greatest hits title. I mean, that's my price point right now. 60 bucks for maybe a special edition form of a game, that could be all right, but 40 bucks for a regular copy, yeah, that should be the price tag of it right now. Um, no online passes, and and um, it's okay for you to put a coupon for download free bonus downloadable content for new game purchases to give them all the bonus material for that. That's fine, but roping off portions of it that's on the disc for to punish the gamers, eh, eh, I don't think so. And uh, that's, uh, I just feel industries right now that are just greedy. And um, now Sony's end user license agreements. Um, yes, I, I clicked accept in here, but keep in mind, Sony, I can still class action sue you if you break the law, if you steal something like that to me. Or if you're not responsible for personal information that people give you, huh, um, you should be responsible. I mean, you should be taking care of your customers. No matter if the end user license, I'm telling you, Sony, this is the law. The reason why people are class action suing you is because um, this is your life. This is people's I mean, excuse me. This is people's lives that they've lost because you weren't responsible for your actions. And I'm saying, oh, I'm sorry. Like this, I mean, tough luck, Sony. Um, you're still going to face the wrath in court for this. And um, and keep in mind that sooner or later people are going to sue you for the all light of death because people are sick and tired of, you know, send, of buying a system that's going to break. And, you know, um, PS3 Slim's getting the all light of death. And there's been a few of my videos. I mean, if you watch my all light of death montage videos, there are PS3 Slim's from the montage video. I mean, this is, um, this is Sony's problem. I mean, and, um... Am I going to replace the thermal compound PS3? Hell no. That's Sony's. That that's that's Sony's responsible work for them. You give a PS3, you should test the freaking system out before you buy it. And um, that's all I have to say about it. And um, they they just deserve it to be a talk about this. And um, we're going to talk about this more later on here. And um, speaking of which. Um, also, people says um, that I download the 8-bit NES games. Um, uh, yes, I did. Um, I uh, focusing like this. And yes, um, I did download the. Uh, these are 8-bit Nintendo. Um, if this thing can focus. Um, yes, these are 8-bit NES. I've downloaded. Uh, to my ambassador things here, but to me, people already own this game. Uh, um, that's what I have to say about this. And um, the eight bit Nintendo. I mean, these eight bit Nintendo things. Are you talking about like? Five or six or seven of them are like those black box games that you know. Um, they're, I mean, you're going to spend like five or ten bucks at the most on um, playing them, and you're going to go back to um, the old, uh, the newer games up here. I mean, you sh uh, The ambassador program to me is, you know, um, I don't think they're. I mean, people already own them. I mean, I already, I, I mean, um, yeah, so I downloaded for the sake of it, but, you know, come on, Nintendo. Um, I should have given a second choice to download um, 3DS um, titles in the first place. And, um, now speaking of which, um, I'm going to have to talk about Nintendo's um, decision not to go with smartphones or like this here. Um... Nintendo, your service is, you're very, very behind on your service. And um, let's uh, say for a fact that, you know, the, the Vita um, that Sony has announced, they can um, replicate the Wii U or like this. Um, 
The Wii U is a generation, I think this is, to me, like the Wii. It's like a generation behind, it's, a seven, it's basically a seventh generation with a screen on your iPad in front of you, just, you know, to um, do whatever it is. I mean, that's all I have to say about this here. And, um... Yeah, um, I think Nintendo should have done better um, to drop the price of 170 um, because if you're taking 80 bucks, I think you should you should have to um, do something that's directly worth 80 bucks to me. Why don't you give us a cool pawn, an 80 dollar um, credit towards um, the eShop purchases? Um, like give me give us an 80 dollar credit on your on your system towards other pur purchases rather than just give me these. Um, 8-bit bo black box nest type games like this. Um, half of them are black boxes. I don't think they're even worth like uh, uh, 10 or 20 bucks or 30 bucks. Uh, Reads over here. But you know, by the back, the 8-bit Nintendo games, they should be, you know, um, I mean, the 8-bit NES games, I mean, they should be built in the system in the first place. I mean, um, you should be making money towards something you made recently. I mean, that's the way it goes. And um, I tell you, copyright laws are broken. Um, as how many? And, and people are thinking. And people are saying, um, how long should copyright terms for last of a year? I think I should take about 20 years of copyright terms. I think it's tops. I mean. I don't give a crap. I, I don't. I mean, end of story. Twenty years. Um, they should be the same with patents because I don't believe that you know um, it's overinflate. I mean, it's a life plus seventy year um, copyright terms. What the freak? Um, they should be twenty years. End of story. And uh, that's caused by big corporations. And um, yeah. And um, yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, so, what's going to be next on the, on the next generation? What I'm going to be expecting here? I think I expect that um, what I want from the next generation is well, you know, you should um, destroy the user license agreement. I mean, if you buy a game, whether it's digital download or physical or whatever it is, um, you should have a right to trade it in at least, uh, like, like deactivate your game for like you know half the cost of what you paid it in the original first place. Um, you have, should have a right to back up your games or transfer your purchase to your friends or something like that. I mean, if you wanted to have a digital, um, they should have that the same freedom as if for, for the physical copies. Hell, you should have a right to modify your game as you see wish if you have it on your hard drive for your private uses. I mean, doesn't matter if it's digital or, per, or, or physical. If you buy the games, you should own the game. Whether it's your disc in your hard drive or anything like that. I mean, um... And um, the other thing about Nintendo is that you should um, end. Uh, I mean, a uh, user generation, co user generated content should be the basic function um, as of today. I mean, as of today, um, and Little Big Planet. I mean, um, that was the. I mean, um, that was one of my top games thus far. That's the pick, um, pick for the PS3 uh, because, and the selling point of Little Big Planet is that you can. Um, you can basically create anything you want nowadays. You can create your shooting gallery game. You can create um, all crazy stuff for the PlayStation Move. And um, I have enjoyed it since it came out. I'm just trying to um, figure out what I'm going to be posting the first one to post um, that thing here. And um, that's, I mean, that's the way it is for Nintendo. I mean, Nintendo, you should... Um, what I want from the next Super Mario Bros. Me game is the ability to create your own levels. And uh, that could sell really well. And, um, so basically, I think this fifth generation, I might do a couple of game, um, footage for reviews and maybe some game plus last plus, but most of the game is going to be focusing on, um, what you can do as a consumer to start telling the developers, hey, look, um, no more overpriced games, no more, um, price gouging, we want this thing to, um, succeed and, uh, help us, help you, um, 
transfer your business to the 21st century so um, games can sell well again. They can be back to the reasonable price point like back in the 2000s when awesome games were back in here. You buy a game, um, the Nintendo 64 game, something like this, I don't know how awesome they were back at that time. And um, the 8-bit Nintendo games, people are saying, oh, it's a golden age right now. No, it's not a golden age. Um, I don't think it's a golden age. The the 8-bit Nintendo, that era was a golden age because that revolutionary to modernize in the games. And uh, yeah, I agree that um, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, they were great years. But now, I think video gaming, the video gaming industry is basically screwed up right now. And um, online passes, ugh. Um, and I think I, um, I'm also, I probably noticed something here, um, the downloadable content was probably 111 Ks, I'm not sure, I'm just going to confirm that when I get home, but basically, um, yeah, it's, the video game industry needs to be fixed, um, and also, um, I've been to Stop and Shop. They are selling, uh, they are renting, leasing, uh, black boxes are now renting games like Resistance 3. Guys, don't rent Resistance 3 to play online because you're going to get screwed over by them. Um, it's no reason why you should spend 10 bucks more. There's no reason why um, these people should be screwed out of 10 bucks just to play online when you buy Resistance 3. Or, uh, excuse me, rent Resistance 3 from, from Redbox here. That's all I have to say about it. Um, uh, this is me, um, JD, signing off, and welcome to season five of VGM.com. And um, have a nice fall, and um, enjoy your pumpkin pie. The festivities, the festivities, and yeah.